I guess the, the easiest way to describe what I do is just artist, because I produce music, I DJ my own music, I DJ digging for other people's music that people maybe don't know, um, but it's just artist, I think is the easiest way to do it. I love activities where you can just turn your brain off and then you're just flowing. <laughs> It's, it's a good feeling. <laughs> I'm in flow state when I'm playing, where I'm, I, my brain turns off, and then four hours, five hours may pass, and the party's still amazing, and then the, the security's like, dude, you gotta turn this off, bro. Like, I'm like, what? It's like, oh my goodness, I'm like over curfew. It's like, all right, thanks guys, have a good night, <laughs> you know? Every show I come in with almost like a blank slate of what I want to do that night. I prepare different crates. I prepare like a lower energy crate, mid energy, high energy, and then sometimes a must play crate, stuff that I'm like dying to play. It's somewhere between 100 to 200 tracks. But again, I never, I never know what I'm going to play until I'm in, in the room. I start maybe 70 to 90% of my music on my laptop and headphones. I'm not actually in the studio, so, because I travel so much with, with gigs and stuff like that, I'll, I'll be feeling some type of way. Like after I play some gig and the gig is so fun, you wake up the next day, you're like, that was so sick. Like, I want to make a track that really would fit that vibe. And then boom. My production process is always a process of creating as much chaos as I can in the beginning. Just record a bunch of stuff and just have just way too much stuff. Then once I have all this junk, I can kind of take a step back and then I'll find the best one or two little elements of all that junk. And that's, that's what becomes the track. It's, it's much easier to delete uh, and find gold than to try to make gold. If you don't have that chaos or randomness in the track, uh, especially in dance music for me, I find that it's too, like by the books, it's too um, clean and, and plain. My ultimate mission with my music is to, to bring as much love and peace and good energy to people as I possibly can. When I was a kid and I wasn't out of the closet, I was very uncomfortable growing up with myself. And, and once I really started to learn and understand myself, I could really be in tune with my creative side even more. And, and I feel like my music significantly improved. As a kid, I never had um, an LGBTQ idol or something growing up. And I was like, if someone is struggling and they really like my music, I want to connect with them on that. For me, why I was always drawn to dance music in the first place, I always felt like it was so cool to see all this diversity at the, at the dance music shows and everyone's drawn together by this music and the love of music. And at, at the time, it wasn't like the most popular thing. So it was just like people passionate about the music. I'm like, I'm passionate about the music and I'm, I'm still in love with it. It's like, I don't want to do anything else. And I'm 28 now and I'm like, I am not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> What a great record for me is, uh, in adjectives, first and foremost, unique, simple, minimal, like not much going on, um, has an element of randomness or chaos, unexpectedness, um, and it gets log jammed into your head. That's, I think, what makes a great record. If something has those in it, I will probably fall in love with it. <laughs>